Hey, this is uh, Ocean Jones back with Ocean's Painting uh, School. Um, so what we did is we cut in this room, uh, top and bottom, you guys have seen all that. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll the walls. Uh, next step is to roll this room out. It's all been cut in. Hey, Corey. Hello. Uh, so uh, I'm gonna hand Corey the phone here and I'm gonna show you the basics of how to roll. Um, this here is a little, uh, you know, rolling pan, uh, rolling bucket. Typically, we would actually just use a five gallon bucket um, and just stick this little screen here, just right in a five gallon. But sometimes we use this little thing too, and uh, they're pretty handy. So, uh, you know, fill it up a little ways. You wanna have a little bit in there so it's not too, uh, it's not wanting to tump over on you. Um, half, the, half the battle is getting the perfect amount of paint inside here without it dripping. Most of your drips will come from right here, so you want to occasionally wipe this right here and wipe it on your pants or whatever you got, wipe it on something. Um, you definitely want to have your drop cloth down nice and neat and folded, uh, and uh, you want to keep your drop cloth on this same side, and the reason being is uh, so that if anything hits the drop cloth, you don't, you know, you don't drag it over there and then it tumps, it flips over and you get paint on the floor. So it, anytime paint does hit this drop cloth, we're going to wipe it off, dry it off. Um, we'll probably do a later video about uh, more in depth of how to work your drop cloth. But uh, for now, this is just rolling. So I'm going to hand Corey the video, the camera. Okay. Um, okay, we're going to start a few feet away from whatever it is, wherever you're starting, and we're gonna mow the grass. We're gonna do the same thing we've been doing. We're gonna start in this corner, we're gonna go that way, and we're gonna do this whole room around. We're gonna go around the entire room. So what we're gonna do is, uh, just like I said, we're gonna get the perfect amount of paint on here. Now what you wanna do is you wanna slap the screen, and you're just gonna go downward, only downward. You don't wanna sling it back up because paint's gonna fling up. If you do that, if you go, if you go back up like that, it paint is gonna sling up, so um, you, you're not gonna be able to see those microscopic right now, but if you're on like a hardwood floor, you would see the little tiny paint drips. Uh, so you're just gonna go downward, slap the paint, slap the paint, slap the paint, paint screen, paint screen, paint screen, then you're just gonna go screen. So you go paint screen, paint screen, paint screen, then just screen. And what you're doing is, you're getting this thing nice and loaded up, but to where it's not really dripping. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna spin the roller to the wall, and you're gonna do almost like the side of a capital A. You're gonna do one of these. And the reason you do that is it's the same idea as whenever you put your excess amount of paint two to three inches away from whatever it is you're painting and then you work it into the line. Same deal, we're gonna put our excess paint here. Now we have all this to work with. So I'm gonna shorten up my pole because I got this wall behind me. Um, gonna go up. Come all the way down. And you want to do a 50% overlay. We're going to go up, flip it over, and uh, just like that, we got about four to five, three or four three to four feet uh, already painted. That is fully painted, all that right there to the door. Um, we cut in all that, all that's been cut in. So we're just gonna move down. Just 